What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here and today I'm going to show you how to have infinite of any item you want. The first kind of cheat I'm going to show you is just how to give yourself infinite of an item that you already have multiple of. The second cheat will be showing you how to give yourself infinite of an item when you only have one to start with, which is a different kind of dilemma. Um, and that'll be more for the intermediate to advanced level cheat engine users. But for you beginners out there, you can certainly learn a lot by you know supplementing my cheat engine tutorial series with what I'm going to discuss here. So first things first, go to cheatengine.org, download Cheat Engine and install it if you haven't done that yet. Then you click that button right there and then you look for cheat or I'm sorry, you look for Terraria in the list here. <clears throat> and my apologies if you hear some banging going on. There's they're redoing the siting on my unit here where I live and uh, it's pretty obnoxious they're doing it all week and I want to record videos so yeah alright so anyway now that we have it attached what we want to do is look for um, the item that you want to have multiple of so let's say copper here so I'm gonna do a first search for 11 which is how much of that item I have and then I'm gonna right click on it and now I'm gonna search for 10 and there we go now if I change that to 99 and go OK there we go so 99, now I have 100 copper because I put that one back. That's it. That's all there is to it. Okay. This value may reset uh, depending on, um, you know, once you add items to a slot, like this is slot 8. Once you add an item to it, it kind of refreshes it so the value moves somewhere else. But as long as you're just taking away from that, you can search for the new numbers in that memory address and sometimes they'll just change on their own all right so this is important for the next cheat that we want to do which is finding how to give ourselves multiple of this item all right so we're going to need to do something a little different here the solution that i came up with was finding where in memory our pointer is whenever we right click like where is that stored in memory? So whenever I right click on items, see how it's going two, three, four, where's that at? Because then I'm thinking if we can modify how many of an item we get whenever we right click, then when we right click on this item, maybe we can get like 99 of it or something. You know what I mean? So that's what we're going to try to do here. So to do that, you need to be kind of quick because this value for the pointer I found refreshes pretty quickly, the mouse pointer that is. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, got some allergies going on too. So the first thing that we want to do is right click on an item that you have a lot of a few times. So that gives me three. So I'm going to search for three. And then I'm going to click here, right click again. I'm going to search for four. Click here, right click again, five. And there we go. Now if I give myself 99 and say OK and come back in here, there we go. I have 99 coins. Now how can we make that of use for when we have one item well if we right click here and we say find what writes to this address and we say okay now oh see how that happened the value changed it modified all on its own so what you need to do is restart the process so I'm gonna give myself three there do a new scan for three four five six all right so it's got two that are changing okay that one changed to seven so this is going to be our one let's right click on it find what writes to this address it changed it already that's how quick it happens let's do it again let's do a new scan for six since we know we have six right now now we have seven now we have eight all right, since it's been in the fives, we're going to try this one. Right click, find what writes to this address. Now we're going to right click again, and boom, there we go. So that's our instruction. So we made it happen quickly. So now that we have that instruction, we have what we need to do to, do to write our cheat. It doesn't matter that all this stuff has changed, and I'll show you why. All right, so first we're going to go show disassembler. And this will show us where the opcode is, where the instruction is for right clicking. And see that ink? which stands for increment. So it's incrementing by one every time we right click. So that's further validation that we found what we were looking for. So now we go tools, auto assemble, template. You can go AOB injection or just go cheat table framework code and then code injection. 
say OK. And then right here you want to go File, Assign to Current Cheat Table, and then close this. That way we can actually modify our script without just having to execute it. Now we have an OK button so that we can save it. All right, so now what do we want to do here? Let's try adding. Uh, what I like to do is with the instructions, I'll copy them, comment them out to keep the original instruction there. So instead of increment, I'm going to try adding 10. So we'll change ink to add. So now we should add 10 to the address that has our uh, item in it. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's say OK. Let's enable this cheat. And let's right click on an item. Let's put this coin back. Let's right click on it and see if we have 10. There we go, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we're already doing it. All right, so now if we right click on this potion, what happens? We have 10. 10. Every time you right click, you get 10. Pretty cool, right? So here's the thing. Every item in Terraria has a max number that you can have of it. So I may be able to go over 99 or so with this. But ideally, see how it goes to 30, and then I can't add any more to it. So 30 is the max number that you can have for this item. You know, what about gel? You can probably go to 999 if it's going this high. Um, there we go. So with acorns, you can only have up to 99. So if we were to create this cheat and we wanted to make it to where we want to have the max number of an item so we know that we can only have 30 of these we can have 99 of these where is that number stored how do we find that how do we figure out what's the max number of any item that I can have and then how do we make it to where let's have the max number of an item that we click on you know instead of just giving 10 to everything we click on what if we can give the max number for that item so the first thing I'm going to do is disable the cheat there. And now what we want to do, I'm going to delete these old values here. Delete, yes. Okay. So first let's search for our copper again. So let's go 100. You can pick any item you want to search for here. All right, now I'm going to look for 99. Okay, here we go. So this memory address has where our item is. So let's go to Memory Viewer and go to Tools and dissect data and structures. We'll paste that address here and then go structures to find new structure and it'll recognize this as terraria.item. You say yes. Okay. So now what we want to do is right click on here and say see what accesses this address and then you can stop it. So this address is EAX plus an offset of 80. Alright. So EAX plus 80. Let's look for offset 80 here and see what that is. Stack 99. Max stack 999. So this stack, this 80, this is our total number of that item that we searched for. That's how much we have right now. So if I change that to 230 and say OK, see how it changed to 230? So we found that. This max stack, that's the max number of the item we can have. All right, so this is offset 80, this is offset 84. So we can modify our cheat now. We'll go to script here and we'll say, um, uh, let's do this. Let's use EBX register. Let's push EBX onto the stack, which will kind of save what EBX has now and then let us mess with it without screwing stuff up. All right, then we will move Control C into EBX this offset here EAX plus 84 which is our max number of the item into EBX then we'll just move EBX into EAX offset 80 which is our stack and then we'll pop EBX which will return EBX to what it was before we messed with it keeping everything nice and flowy now we'll say, let me make sure everything's good here, then we'll say OK. 
and then we'll close this and then we'll close this and now okay we'll put this back see how we right click and it's just one right now I still have to enable the cheat so once I enable the cheat I should see 999 in my mouse pointer there so let's enable the cheat and let's right click and there we go potions what's the max number of potions you can have it's 30 so there's 30 what about torches 99 acorns 99 gel 999 wood that silver coins boom 100 copper 100 now you can make a gold coin put it here right click on it now you have a hundred gold coins now we can make a platinum coin put it here right click on it 999 platinum coins <laughs> so there you go that's how you do it that's that's a fun little cheat there all right so anyway if you have no idea what's going on here go check out my cheat engine tutorial series where I go through all this stuff all right make sure you check out my other Terraria cheat videos that I have Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Take care.